Talking first alert weather now, a massive wildfire burning in Chico, California, as crews work around the clock to suppress this spread. And what you're seeing here is an actual tornado fire. This sparked in the park fire. It's burned more than 180,000 acres. As of tonight, we just checked and it is not contained. It was a little bit earlier, but it has spread so much. According to local media, it's not contained anymore. That's the time lapse video you continue to see on your screen of that fire tornado uh, caused in that park fire. Just insane to see what's coming out of California. And that's not the only place we're seeing devastation due to those wildfires in Canada. This one in Jasper National Park in the Alberta province, very busy tourist area. Uh, the Canadian Rockies officials say up to 50% of structures could possibly be destroyed there. 25,000 people so far have had to flee that area. So sad to see all this happening right now. And our first alert chief meteorologist Kendra Kent uh, tracking some of those fires for us and seeing, hey, we might you know, get some of that smoke even from Canada here in the upstate. Yeah, and this happened around this time last year. Uh, right now, I don't expect it to be as extensive as it was because uh, we were smelling smoke here in the upstate. Probably not going to be that to that level. Uh, but we are expecting to see our the smoke concentration in the atmosphere go up. You see those green colors and yellow color there over the Carolinas. That's a moderate to low level amount of smoke. Most of it's going to be in the upper levels of the atmosphere. So because of that, the sky will look hazy, but it shouldn't cause any air quality issues. But notice how the blue color, the low levels actually stick around through the weekend and even into next week. So right now, no air quality uh, issues are expected from that wildfire smoke, but some hazy skies. The sky won't be that brilliant blue as much, a little more muted uh, going into the evenings, especially on Saturday and Sunday. And this is going to be most apparent in the mountains. So that's going to be the issue from the wildfire smoke. We also saw video from the fire tornado, and I wanted to talk a little more about that because a lot of you asking on social media, how in the world does this happen? Well, when you have wildfires, you get a lot of rising air. The air is very hot, therefore or rises and that kind of simulates thunderstorm conditions. But instead of getting heavy rain in this situation, the winds around the wildfire actually created that spinning effect and caused a column to develop a rotating column of air, which ended up being a fire tornado. Uh, so a very scary situation. These can uh, get up to 2000 degrees. I mean, really unbelievable. The kind of site that looks like something in the movies, but it's something that they actually dealt with in California. So this was not due to a thunderstorm. It was purely due to the environment around that wildfire. So pretty unbelievable. Uh, we'll talk more about what we can expect in our forecast. At least we're just going to get a little bit of smoke in the atmosphere. Nothing like this.